you at five today. We now know the identity of the man who died in Monday's gas pipeline explosion there in Helena. You see the pictures. The Jefferson County coroner confirms the victim as Anthony Lee Willingham. Five of five other people were injured there. And on a related note, Alabama River Keepers say a quick response to that pipeline blast kept the Cahaba River and its tributaries protected from any contamination. In a statement today, the environmental group says the outcome could have been much worse. They're also asking for tighter controls, though, saying, quote, we call on Colonial Pipeline and the regulators who are supposed to ensure the safe operation of pipelines to do a systematic review of the pipeline's integrity and publicly release their maintenance and system upgrade plan. Now, Alabama river keepers do cite six different occasions that Alabama rivers escaped pollution due to problems with the Colonial Pipeline. And much of that line runs through rural areas. The river keepers say there is a real concern over deterioration, cracks, and leaks in more populated areas. CBS 42 News reporter James McConaughey has been in Pelham talking with people about the portion of the pipeline that runs through their community. He's live in the newsroom. Uh, James, what are they telling you? Well, the gas pipeline runs right through several neighborhoods. It's clearly marked, but up until yesterday, residents said they really hadn't given it much thought. Uh, this map right here from the National Pipeline Mapping System shows right where it passes through Pelham. Most of the pipeline is buried in rural, er rural areas, but portions of it run through residents' backyards. I spoke with one resident who said after the leak in September, she started noticing the Colonial Pipeline workers in Pelham. She hasn't lived in Pelham long, but first noticed pipeline workers on Highway 31 down the road from her neighborhood near a sign marked, uh, that marked the buried pipeline. I noticed that that's the same sign that's right down the street from me, you know, a couple of streets over. And um, I thought, gee whiz, that thing's a lot closer than I thought it was, you know. So, yeah, it became a more, more of a concern. Several residents that I spoke with said the pipeline being so close does concern them, but it's not something they worry about all the time. Others told me they are considering moving because they're worried uh, that something could happen. Now, coming up at 6, you'll hear from a woman who lives right next door to the pipeline in Pelham, live in uh, the studio. James McConaughey, CBS 42 News.